Hello everyone. Uh, this particular tutorial I am making to answer uh, this question. Uh, that is, um, do I need to make virtual clock if my model has a clock signal as input for timing analysis? What changes do I need to make for synthesizing sequential module with clock? So to answer this particular question, I'm making this video. Let's go to the section. Here, I will show. This is the counter example that I took here. And uh, in this, if you go to the source, source window, and if you see the file here, so this is our counter design. So counter has got this module, counter CLK, that is clock, input, reset input, and Q is the output. It's a four bit up counter. You can see from here, it's a four bit up counter. And this video assumes that uh, the viewer or student knows the Verilog HDL and little bit about the uh, synthesis means, simulation means. So a uh, little bit about the timing constraints, all those things uh, it is assumed. The intention of this video is not to teach about the Ver uh, uh, Verilog HDL or the simulation synthesis, rather how to use basically this uh, code spaces for doing uh, our uh, VLSI projects, especially digital IC projects. But uh, since uh, one uh, candidate asked uh, like, how do we apply the SDC synopsis design constraints on uh, sequential circuits such as this? So I'm making this video. Uh, this is the counter, right? So now what I will do is, I'll just come out of this and I'll show here this SDC file. So if you see here, we are not using the uh, virtual clock. We are actually uh, call, uh, using the clock that is there in the design. So create a clock, the name of the clock, this is the switch to create the clock, hyphen name, create underscore clock space hyphen name, the name of the clock that we are using in our design is uh, that is CLK. And the period of that is 10. This is the constraint that I'm uh, applying like uh, the clock period is uh, 10 nanoseconds here in this case. And the waveform, initially it is clock is zero and then it is going high. So this tells like initially this is zero and then later it is going high. And the port of that clock uh, is the CLK. Port name is also CLK. And the set a clock transition is uh, when clock is rising the delay, rise delay is 0.1. And uh, this is the fall delay. And this is the clock uncertainty due to some uh, like uh, hardware issues, like, uh, uh, you know, uh, exactly that expected time will not be happening. Ideal case will not be happening. There is some uncertainty and that we are introducing in the behavior of the clock. And then set input delay. So with respect to this clock, the maximum delay that input, uh, uh, po I mean, signals can have is a, this uh, 1.0, that is one nanosecond, and set output delay. Like after the clock, all outputs can have this much of delay, like one nanosecond. So that is uh, the brief, uh, basically, this is a very initial, um, what we say, SDC, synopsis design constraint file. 
there are a lot more things very uh, it's a, it's, it's a, you know different subject altogether so studying the sta static timing analysis is altogether a different uh, subject uh, maybe um, it's a semester course also we can say because several things are there to understand but uh, since uh, this is the very basic thing we are just keeping with a clock and then some rise delay fall delay and uh, some uncertainty and here uh, this clock if you see uh, apart from the clock we have the reset so uh, when we say this set input delay all inputs when we are treating like reset has come as part of that we can specify also like uh let's say there are several inputs only fewer inputs we want to have some kind of delay like that also we can do it and same thing goes with the output also like we are we have only q is a one output that we have here in this example there may be several outputs to different outputs different uh like this delays also possible to define in synopsis design constraint file so basically as a designer we have to understand like how or what possibly uh, may be the case so that expected things we will keep in this uh, synopsis design constraint file if design works after simulation if design works that is like taken if it is not working then we have to uh, we may have to fix sometimes this uh, you know constraints so that's how, that's about uh, this STC, and I'll come out of this. And uh, let's go to this uh, config file. In config file, this we have to include, like this STC file we have to include. By default, uh, this will be created when we create the design upper two lines will be created and these things will be created but uh, floor planning core utilization aspect ratio these things we have to uh, look after so there are several things by the way uh, you can go to the website i think in the previous videos i have shared that website from where you can get this um, design variables so Ensure that this SDC file is added in this config file. And uh, yeah, that is all we have here. Rest of the things you know, because in the previous videos I have covered how to run the design. So to run the design, uh, I just come out few steps back. I'm here in the open lane. I will show here one file. One minute. Here, if you do the LS, uh, this file counter synthetical I have added here. I'll open and I will show that. Here, instead manually typing in the previous videos, you might have seen uh, like this needs to be typed every time manually. So instead of typing, we can keep them in one file and we can run them. So, how uh, see this. Here, we first have to make sudo and then make mount. And then dot flow dot slash vertical hyphen interactive. Interactive. And then uh, here, source that file name that counter 
underscore synth dot tcl is the file present. So now you can see the process is going on. About this process and how to view the results and all, I have discussed. Uh, in the previous videos, you can watch. If you have any doubts, you can post them in comment section. Yeah, it is done. Now, if you go to this one, I'll just open only timing related one. I will show because rest of the things like uh, how do we open open that GDS file and all I have discussed in the previous videos. Here I'm going to the logs. Inside logs, there will be synthesis folder. Here if you go and if you see this is STA log. So this is our STA log study timing uh, this report basically. Oh, so you have the our report here and uh, you have the slack uh, like uh, was negative slack and uh, your total negative slack if it is coming in negative then our design has got some issue so why and all uh, is i'm not going to discuss in this video because as i said uh, the purpose of this video earlier so if you see now here sequential elements also have the some power consumption all right in the previous video where i had demonstrated full adder uh there we only had the power related to the combination but since here is the counter design so it has got sequential elements also they are also consuming power so that's how you do here uh, i will share this stc file in the description of the video all right. Uh, yeah, thank you.